Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about web components and hybrids. And hybrids is a framework to use web components and it makes web components a little bit easier to use. And we have talked about web components before. I think the last time was two years ago and the first time I talked about it was three years ago. Back then, Web Components wasn't supported by all browsers. There were some work to actually get some web standards through Web Components. And during this time, they have actually worked it through. And now Web Components are supported by all web browsers. And you have polyfills for IE11 that can't really support it because it's not maintained anymore. But every browser should be able to render web components. So let's move over to doing some code. So we have a web page here with nothing in it. So we go, we'll start from scratch in this video. So let's go over to the code here and we will create our first file. This is an index HTML. And we do some HTML5 here, templating, and just creating some hybrids, example. So we have a title and if we will move over to our web browser again, we have an empty document. Yay! And what we want to create is the simple counter. This is the element we want to create and we will have the value of counts. Let's start at 10. So now we have actually set up what we need here. We also need a script tag. No, a script source tag. And this should be our simple counter.js. And this needs to be a type of module. So if we want to use web components in the standard uh, way, it's easier to do it in a module because then you can import the functionality. So let's go on and create our simple counter.js here. So that now we have this and we need to do the import statement. So we will import from uh, unpackage, unpackage.com slash uh, hybrids. And we want the version 4.1.19. You might have a later version in when you are implementing this. And then we look at the source directory, so we'll get the latest there. And what we want to import is the HTML for templating and define for actually defining our, um, our web component. So first we need to export a function here. And this is the function to incre increase the count value. So let's create that. It will take a host variable and that's the object that we actually are working with. So the web component object. And when they, we run this function, we will take the host count. We will increase that by one. And that's pretty much what we want to do with that function. It's very simple. This is not gonna be a very advanced functionality into this uh, little, <laughs> little example here. Then we want to export the actual object. So this is going to be a const of simple counter. And this will uh, be a very simple like that. We have created that. So that's the syntax. And we will take count, we start at zero, we will have a render function, and this render function will take templated count, so it can actually render with the count val value, and then we actually want this to be the HTML templating here. So let's end that down here. And a comma. So this is where we want to render our stuff. We want to render a button. So let's do that. We have a start value of this button. Now we want uh, an on, on click handler first off. And this should be using some templating and use the increase count. And when we have added that to our button, we can end it up down here and we can type out the actual value of the count with templating again. 
and here we want the count value. And so this means that this function will take the count in here, so it will take an object uh, with the count variable. So the object we send in is the simple counter, we deconstruct that so we will get a count out. And then we will render it down here and take the count and the function that we defined up here. Last thing we need to do is define the actual web component. It should be called web simple, component, simple uh, counter. And the important part is the actual dash web components. To distinguish them from standard web uh, tags, you set, uh, put a dash in it so you have something dash something. That's a web component. And then we take the simple cl clause here, simple counter. So now we have defined everything that we need to define in order to uh, run this. So let's go over to our web browser, reload, and we have a button here with a count. And that's pretty nice. We want some styling on this button as well. We could actually here render a styling. Uh, so if we do style, style, oh. Uh, so we could do a style tag and add a link if we want and create a totally new document with the actual styling. And uh, I have tried that and it works fine and but it actually makes things load slower. So if you have for instance uh, webpack or any of those that or un roll up or something it can actually roll those files up and you can split things up in multiple files if your component gets too large but in this case I want some very simple uh, styling for this button so I don't need to separate it in multiple files and then roll it up uh, because if you don't do that it will take a little bit of time before the actual styling is applied so let's do a button here. Let's give it some uh, font size. Uh, let's do 20 points. Let's do a padding of 10 pixels. Let's uh, do some font weight of bold. Let's give it a background. Uh, background color of blue for instance, a color of white, so it gets a little bit nicer. Let's do a, uh, let's do a border, uh, one pixel, so let's make it two pixels solid and do a nice grayish color here. And then a border radius of let's say, yeah, 10 pixels or something like that. So now we should have a pretty distinct button here with some other styling on it. And if we want, we can go into our index.html here and create multiple buttons. So let's create 10 of them. Uh, and you see here, if I click the different ones, it will actually um, go through and set the state of the different ones that I have clicked. So they are so totally different objects that are initiated by their separate tags. And if we go back here and add a button, just so you see that it actually is separated from the rest, it will create this test button here that is has nothing to do with the styling of the other buttons. Usually when you put something into a CSS or, a, or styling in your document, it will apply to the rest of the document. But as this styling is applied to the shadow DOM, it will only be applied to the specific uh, web components that you create. So you have something that is encapsulated as its own little tag. So this was what I wanted to cover today. I'm very excited that the uh, framework and the work 
for the web standard has gone through and that we have it in all web browsers so we can actually start using web components now. Uh, my question to you, are you using web components today? Are you excited about web components? Do you have any other questions? Leave them down in the comment section down below or tell me what you are using web components for. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.